thinking about these two competitors. They've had a, a couple of clashes in the past. Love his surfing. So on edge, so raw. Well, let's see what Ethan got done on his first ride. Yeah, beautiful swooping turn out of the top and uh, straight up into that next section. He really does look on fire. Nice two-turn combo. And then out the back behind him was uh, Italo on his backhand. Bit of a slower start to this wave, but you can tell he's looking for something here at the end. And another nice carving manoeuvre and kind of gets to that end section a bit quicker. It's not like Ethan Ewing's going to sit out there out of position, though. As we see, it's low on the left. <laughs> and landings don't get much more smooth than that. That was unbelievable. Just greased it and having a bit of fun. He is just uh, tapping back into the, that magic kind of form that's seen him take CT wins, win a world title. Is super unpredictable. Yeah, absolutely love seeing Goofies go left at main break. We don't, we rarely get to see it. And that was a beautiful air. I mean, just so smooth too. I mean, that landing was incredible. And I really feel what you're saying. He's tapping back into that spirit, that winning spirit. He feels light, fun. There's unpredictability there that I'm absolutely loving. Oh, this is unbelievable. The left-hander, the classic left-hander at Margaret River. This is what it used to be in the 70s and 80s, Ronnie. The only difference is... Uh, but here we go, we have someone looking out the back. Yeah, it looks like it's low now. So staying busy, third ride, 6.77 for the front side air rotation. Just gets a, a little restricted on that final hit there, just tackled by the whitewater a little bit. Oh, here's Italo's work on his third ride. Strong first turn. Yeah, he gets a little bit hung up there on the second one, so look. He nice. knows. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> 7.1 for this. Ethan Ewing absolutely carving through that first se section and uh, lining it up. Just a transitional turn, but so beautiful and so fast to the finish there. Such technical surfing. Yeah, Italo looking for an answer here. Yeah, well, Italo, he's got this wave here. Just uh, again, another wave looks like a little bit fat. Is he going to get the big finish? He's going to go for it. It's, uh, it's been fun to watch the world's best attack main break today, Ethan Ewing. He's looking to, to stay on pace with Italo here. He was back in second spot, only needed a 5.01. We just caught the end of that ride, Bugs. Yeah, but uh, I loved Ethan's wave. Uh, this was just beautiful surfing and so fast. Look, look at that. Just so such a quick trend. You had a, a crossover of generations with Joel Parkinson and Mick Fanning still pretty dominant. And, and then guys like Italo, Felipe and Gabriel Medina bringing just a, a whole different level of, of speed and, and commitment to those progressive turns to the party. It sort of flipped the criteria towards that, that innovative approach. And for a period of time there, if you were doing, you know, rail surf, you know, uh, surfing at maybe 60% of their potential. And, you know, you, you, you've seen the free surfing clips of Baron. You saw what he did at Sunset last year, Bugs. He might be at 50% at the moment. He's a, a guy with so much potential. As we see, Ethan Ewing here really looking freed up at the moment, trying to better a 7.1. He's found a good wave, razor sharp, mistake free surfing so far. And he'll continue that right through to the inside. Floats over the white water and gets the completion. Just a, a lot of appreciation from surf fans for this guy's approach, and that is a, a wholeheartedly committed opening manoeuvre. It sure is, and then he keeps going. This wave just lines up beautifully for him. These are these are strong moves, and right here he's just getting, he's just using that to get the jet ski in. This first turn, Ronnie, just incredible carve. Brings the board right back around, back arm in. This has been, a, I think, a, a turning point performance from him. Yeah, I'll go along with that for sure. I mean, you know, he's back to, he's got his mojo back, and Italo will be dangerous in the, as we come into the next phase of the tour. Ethan Ewing, though, continues his powerful run, looking very sharp. The winner at the last stop on the championship tour moves into the quarterfinals.